Right now, three small churches in Texas are taking on the federal government in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. They filed a lawsuit arguing that places of worship should be allowed to receive relief funds from FEMA, a.k.a. the federal government. Chief Religion Correspondent Lauren Green here with more. Lauren, sort of part of a much larger issue here in terms of well, what, whether government funds can go to religious organizations. Oh, well, you're absolutely right, Leland, and you've seen this on the ground when you've covered hurricanes, but churches, synagogues, and mosques do a lot of the heavy lifting during disasters, and it's a great help to the government. So these churches want to be treated like any other nonprofit and have access to government relief funds. These three small Texas churches are now suing the Federal Emergency Management Agency, challenging its policy that bans houses of worship from applying for relief for nonprofits simply because they are religious. And one of them served as a shelter and FEMA staging area. Nonprofits of any other kind, like the Garden Club or an aquarium that provide services to their communities, are allowed to apply. So when you have these first responders on the ground who are still there once the government leaves, doesn't it seem weird that the government is discriminating against them in this instance? Now, President Trump seemingly showing his support, tweeting last week, churches in Texas should be entitled to reimbursement from FEMA relief funds for helping victims of Hurricane Harvey, just like others. Now, the law, though, is not so clear. The churches are basing their case on the recent Supreme Court decision granting a church public funds to make its nursery school playground safer. But in that case, the money was for secular purposes. Or repairing a sanctuary is not the same. And the purpose of it is to make sure that taxpayers don't have to pay for somebody else's religion that they don't support. And so the so-called wall between church and state means that you help secular people, but you don't spend money on religious activities. Now, the attorney for the church says FEMA could change the policy today if it wanted to. And we reached out to FEMA for a response, and they cannot comment on pending litigation. Leland? Real quickly, we saw the president tweet his support. Has the DOJ weighed in, filed an amicus brief or anything like that on behalf of the churches? Not as yet. Not as yet. As they say, the FEMA actually could just change the policy. Mm -hmm. But you, as you see from the package, they're already sort of in bed with churches as it is because they, the churches do a lot of the work. Well, and also I've showed up there for as a staging ground. Lauren, great uh, report. Uh, obviously, story's not over.